So um, at Roly, you have some uh, special expertise and uh, and some special technology that has to do with music, but uh, with colors and lights and uh, LEDs and yeah. So so Lumi brings together basically um, everything we've made in the past 10 years. Um, the product that we're best known for is a reinvention of the piano keyboard. This obviously is a very different idea of um, how to make a piano keyboard. And the one we started with, the Seaboard, replaces black and white piano keys with a pressure responsive surface where you can bend and mold sound. So we have a lot of experience in like reinventing the piano. And then even more importantly, we have a couple years of experience in the use of light and how light can help people play and learn music. We have a, we have a light pad block. We have a next generation drum pad, and this drum pad is also pressure responsive, but the key thing is it's LED lit. That means that you can reconfigure the drum pad um, to different settings and modes, and also there's visual feedback along with sonic feedback. Is it so, uh, selling like gangbusters? Or is it it's selling very well, yeah. So, I mean, we've been thinking about this concept for a long time, and it's the culmination of working with new keyboard forms and technologies and then experimenting with the use of light. And we think what we're doing with this is making the most um, learner-friendly keyboard ever made because... Can you grab this for one second? Because they connect together. Yeah, I, I can... Um, I'll show you. Yeah. So you just uh, dock them in? So you can, you can be able... I, I don't want to do that. It'll mess up the settings. But yeah. basically, you can magnetically connect these yeah. and it becomes one keyboard. Keyboard. You could have two or three or four. You could create a 48 or um, a 72 or a 96 key keyboard very easily just by magnetically snapping them together. And then you can just pack them in your bag like exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah. You can you can carry your uh, your your you can carry your grand piano in a hand luggage. That's right. Yep. You can snap it together, take it apart, mix it up. How's it feeling? That's an important question. How does it feel? I mean, I think it feels amazing. The way we engineered it was to feel as much as possible like an acoustic piano key. So the depth that your finger is pressing, it feels um, almost exactly like the, the depth, the experience of depth and plunge on a piano key, this, this one is the resistance. Is it Bluetooth? So how does it connect? It connects over Bluetooth. Um, it's completely wireless or you can play it wired. Uh, can you play something shortly? Yeah, sure. But this is connected to the speaker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shut. That's that demo over there. <laughs> yeah, why don't, I, why don't I play on this one? But there's no speaker in this one, right? Is it with the yeah. headphones? Do you, well, do you want to hear it or just see it? Uh, we can see it, yeah. yeah. You can maybe hold this over here yeah. in the camera. Yeah, so I'll play, um, I'll play Swan Lake. Everyone knows that. People love listening to music, but they don't want to learn to play, right? It's, it's costly, it takes years, it's painful. And the idea here is that if you help people practice in a way where they're having fun the entire time, because they're playing songs they love, and they want to practice them 20 or 30 or 40 times, because they want to get better, and they want to play that Adele song, or that Beatles song, or that, you know, Skrillex summer hit, they can do it in this app. And they can start simple in this guitar hero-like mode, where it's really gamified and it's interactive and it's telling you how you're doing and it's giving you a score at the end. You're trying to up your score, beat your score, get better. But then you can actually move to different views and learn how to read sheet music, if you want. In this intermediate view, you're staying in this world of color and, and, and visual feedback but you're learning what the names of the notes are. And then you move to sheet music view. Well, you're actually, uh, oh, well, we finished the song, but let's do that again. So does it work on Android? It does, it will work on Android. So here you have um, a colored sheet music view. 
We are still associating notes with colors, but you're playing them on a musical staff. And it takes you all the way to um, learning how to read and play sheet music. Yes. Where then the keyboard lights up black and white like a piano. Is there any kind of like improvisation, composing mode or something like that? Well, so in, in, in the learner version of Lumi, the way you would play it with this app, it's taking you all the way up to um, being able to start composing and playing on your own. Um, but if you're a skilled uh, pianist, if you're like a, an enthusiast who's taken a couple years of lessons, you can absolutely take this and play it like you would any other MIDI controller or synthesizer. It's a, at the end of the day, it's a high-powered, state-of-the-art MIDI controller that lights up with LED lights. So the applications for composers, for instance, would be that um, different uh, chords or chord progressions would light up for you. Can you the, the Well, uh, we're not showing it here, and we're actually still completing it, but that technology very much exists, and it'll be available when um, Lumi launches in November. So what I'd like to have on here is a uh, wow. composition nice. mode where I play some chords and it recognizes the, what do you call it? Uh, is this something for kids? The, the progression. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Notes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, of course. In terms they, of uh, the recognized, you know, scale that you're in. Uh, yeah, so it. at Rolly we make a lot of very high-powered desktop software. And if you choose to buy this uh, Lumi keyboard, the more professional version of it in 2020, it will come with a lot of desktop software, and, it, and those software programs are exactly the kinds of um, features that you're talking about. Did you announce this, the professional version of this? So all of our all of our products have professional versions that are coming out soon, and Lumi is one of them. But are you talking about the 2020 version or this one? We're talking about a version that will launch after the more beginner and learner um, oriented version of the Lumi experience. It will be one um, uh, more for professionals. But now with uh, full, what do you call it, the, the sensation you get on a real piano? Uh, that feedback, right? Well, so the. It, it, it feels remarkably similar for a digital keyboard. It feels remarkably similar to playing an acoustic piano, from the plunge depth to the resistance, um, even to the width of the keys, which are not standard-sized piano keys, but they're 7 eighths the width of a piano key. Um, but to your question, if you wanted to get this, uh, Lumi when it launches in November in the US and UK and then uh, throughout Europe in um, early 2020. It would come with desktop software that would have the capabilities that you're talking about. And you need a little kind of like a case to, to carry three or four in the bag, right? We already make them. You already make yeah. them. So it's easy to take it in the backpack? Yeah, it comes with a really stylish case called a snap case that magnetically attaches to these uh, magnets on the side. It protects the, uh, the Lumi keyboard and then you can snap it back and fold it back on itself. Nice. And uh, is there something about them lighting up slightly before? Like a half a, temp a specific tempo you can follow and everything. Yeah, so as, uh, as you can tell, when you're playing it, um, you can tell which note to press next, either by looking at the screen um, and, and kind of following the, um, uh, the waterfall of lights on the screen. But also, the key that you're playing next will light up like a millisecond before you're meant to hit it. So if you want to, especially if you know the tune really well, um, you can look only at the keyboard and play it that way. What I'm showing you here is the whole um, learn side of the experience. We've been on play so far, playing songs like um, Kids by MGMT. I'll show you how that works. Forgive me, because I can't hear what I'm doing, but... side of the app, where you can learn about chords and scales and the foundations of music. You can take one or two minute mini lessons that are fun and bite sized, and you can even do the things that we associate with traditional music learning, like 
practice chords and scales. Below the drum kit that you sell, check yeah. it's not the same standard, right? So you don't connect that to the side, do you? Uh, you can connect that to a different app we make called Noise. Or you can connect it to our desktop, more professional studio software. But these connectors, they look similar to the... They are the same. Oh, sorry, the, the same. yeah, the physical connectors are the same. So they can actually talk with the other one? Yeah, 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 exactly. So you, so you, you, you will... for MIDI over, over pins or something? Yeah, this works MIDI over Bluetooth. Um, but included in these... Um, uh, in these pin connectors, or as the technology that's transmitting the data between these different blocks. Yeah. So if you know our blocks range, this is essentially a block in terms of the magnetic connector technology. And you will indeed be able to connect it to the light pad block or the seaboard blocks or the other ones in that modular range of MIDI controllers.